this is a little bit of the uh, press conference today at the, the court hearing of uh, Crystal Jean Kenny Lee um, in the um, Kelsey Barris disappearance and the Patrick Frazee's case. Um, so here's some little bits of the um, conference after the uh, court was over this morning on the 8th of February 2019. ...for the court's judicial district. As you saw this morning, Crystal Lee pled guilty to a class six felony tampering with physical evidence. It carries a penalty in the presumptive range of up to 18 months in prison in the aggravated range up to three years in prison. And that's by state law. By state law, it is not a mandatory sentencing type uh, charge, so that actually the judge has a choice of anywhere from probation on up to that three years if the judge finds aggravation in this particular case. Uh, we have postponed sentencing until after any hearings or trials are done on any other related matters. Certainly that would include the Patrick Frazee charges at this time. Uh, he is presumed innocent unless until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. We have agreed, though, uh, by our agreement that she will not be sentenced until after all trials are completed. You heard the judge say that could be six months from now, that could be two years from now. It's, uh, we, we really don't know. Uh, she is to appear in the future uh, periodically through reviews. The court has allowed her to do that by phone in those reviews until such time as we get up towards sentencing on her particular case. Uh, she did read into the record a factual basis, which is also required by Colorado law. Uh, I do have uh, a copy of that, but I assume you've all got that on camera, and I don't necessarily need to repeat that. Uh, the judge at, put certain terms of the agreement on the record, uh, such as she is required to cooperate in all cases. She is required to testify, if called upon to testify in all cases. And that is the uh, prosecutor and his team um, going through a little bit of the case and stipulations, what she can do, what she can't do, um, moving forward on the case, and um, Patrick's uh, hearing on the 19th of February. We don't know what's going to go on then. Are they going to say much? Are they going to come in and get out? Um, we don't know what's going to happen. Is he going to waive his rights? We don't know. Um, well, I did see, see him come to court that day uh, on the 7th uh, wearing a, a bulletproof vest. Now he's graduated to a bulletproof vest. Um, was that the reason why he was wearing a bulletproof vest was because he knew Crystal was going to be in court on Friday. And the word was out. The word was out. That she was going to plead guilty. To charges against her. And he knew it. And they knew it. So they needed more protection for him. Oh yeah. And he, and he was um, wearing a new haircut. I think they butchered him. Mm-hmm. They got that shaver out and shaved his head nearly. Hmm. Well, there you go. So here's a little bit more of the news conference today. Set for February 19th for preliminary hearing at 9 o'clock. Uh, she is not allowed to talk to the press. That is actually part of our agreement that she is not allowed to do that. So she will be making no comments uh, at all to the press or it'll be a violation of that agreement. Uh, any questions that people have beyond that? Uh, she indicated on the record that she, uh, actually I'll give the specific phrasing that she said. She said, I moved the victim's cell phone with the intent to impair the phone's avail availability in the investigation. I had no right or authority to move the victim's cell phone that occurred between November 24th and November 25th, 2018 in Teller County. And that's as much as she said today. 
Does she even, does she have give any, any indication of what Patrick would be some good blood for where it comes from? All she said today on the record was, oops, I apologize, is that? I can wait. I can wait a moment. Sorry, my fault. I will say while we're doing this, for your edification, my ethics rules allow that uh, I am allowed to talk on what's on the public record. I'm not allowed to talk about what is not on the public record, which may aid you in the questions you may be asking. What happened today in the courtroom is on the public record, so I can talk about specifically what was said there. If you're asking me questions beyond that, it, it, it is not in the public record. It is not something I'll be able to respond to, and you'll hear me say that. What she stated today, she read a statement. You probably saw her holding it in there. Uh, she said, I learned that Patrick Frazee had committed a homicide on approximately November 22nd, 2018 in Teller County. I knew that law enforcement would be investigating that crime. I moved the victim's cell phone with the intent to impair the phone's avail availability in the investigation. I had no right or authority to move the victim's cell phone. That occurred between November 24th and November 25th, 2018 in Teller County. That's the statement she gave on the record today. In general, how important is to I'm not going to be able to comment on that question. His question was, how important is she to the case against Patrick? I'm not going to comment on that. Again, uh, there's been nothing put on the record of where the phone is today, and I'm not going to comment on that. So, guys, that was a little bit of the conference today. So, um, what do you think so far? How do you think this case is going to turn out? Well, we hope for the best, and he is innocent until proven guilty as we have to say that. So, um, so guys, give me your thoughts. Let's have a little discussion on these events. And thank you for stopping by.